In the lure fishing game, there's loads of different styles. One of those is street fishing. And as we know from street fishing, you have to have the right kind of gear to get you fishing properly. Now that's what we're gonna talk about today. A new range of street fishing luggage from Fox Rage, which gives you everything you need to keep it light, keep it compact, keep you moving and keep you fishing. So the new Rage Street Fighter range of luggage, like I say, is perfectly dialed in for your street fishing. We'll start off with possibly the main event from the range, which is the rucksack. Now, as you'll see, it's quite compact. It's quite slim in its uh, profile, but it still holds quite a lot of kit. So you've got three main compartments. We'll start from the top, just unzips. You keep all your bits and bobs in there perfectly. Then we've got the top main compartment. This doesn't have any baffles in it or anything to, to set a structure. So you just chuck whatever, you're in, whatever you want in there. I've probably got mine far too loaded up because I always take far too much when I go fishing. And then from there, the main compartment. Now this is set out in a slightly different way. So a double handed pull and you can fit four of our boxes in there or more to be honest with you. We've got quite a, a gap down the side so, you can, side so you can get more in there if you need to. Handy little um, plastic covered wallet in the side there. I would use that for my licenses, stuff you want to keep out of the rain and waterproof and it's always handy to, to know where they are. For me when you're street fishing one of the, the key things is time. If I'm street fishing I'll probably only have a couple of hours. I don't want to be, keep taking the rucksack on and off and on and off to change things. So with this you'd have it on like so. All you've got to do, flip one arm out, spin it round, and it's right there. You've got everything you need right there. Pull it out, do what you need to do, zip it back up, and you're back in the game as quick as that, or quicker, because you'll be standing up and not sitting down. And you know, that saves you a few seconds probably every time. Now, if that's not enough storage for you with those three compartments going on, we do have a clever little addition that runs throughout the Street Fighter range of luggage, but it's especially cool on this. So we've got these, the Street Fighter luggage modular packs. These are sold separately and they come with some of the other items I'll show you. All they are is a little pouch that holds one of our small boxes. So they fit in there dead handy. On the rucksack, you have two bands either so on, on the one side, and that just slides in. And there you go. You've got extra capacity on the side. That's especially handy if you're changing bags all the time. I do this a lot. So if I, have, I go from a rucksack to a holster pack to a vest pack or whatever, if I've got all my, say, micro jig heads or um, bullet weights or whatever in one of these, I don't want to take the bag out, sorry, the box out and put it in the bag because next time I'll have probably forgotten that. But if they're all in just one of these, I'll mark it up down the side with a, with a pen and say what they are and I could just put it onto the next piece of luggage without having to worry too much. I know where they are, I know how accessible they are, and also I could just keep them all together in, uh, all these modular pouches all together in one place and pick and choose what I want. It's, it's quite a clever little way to modularize, which is why they're called uh, modular packs, modularize your fishing and your, your tackle in, in the, its varying different uh, types. The rucksack also offers lots of options in terms of external storage. So you can see here, we've got the, the tool holder with the pliers. We've got lots of D-rings to attach uh, various things on there, such as our microfiber cloth or even a, a water bottle. Uh, we've also got a uh, sunglasses holder. So the arm of the sunglasses goes in there, holds it on there if you don't want to be using them. but all of a sudden the, the sun comes out and you, you straight away you want to see your, your polarized specs, you want to see the water. They're there, they're right there. You don't, like I say, you don't have to take your rucksack, rucksack off to get access to these things. Just whip them off straight on your face. All about time and all about making your life easier. As well as that, two D-rings on the back and we've got a rod holder on the back as well. So uh, when you're street fishing, you might want to go finesse uh, for one stretch 
and then there might be a, a patch where there's slightly bigger fish or a bigger pike or whatever. You want options. You can't always fish for different species and different size of fish on one rod because um, something's going to suffer at some point. So if you, you're fishing with your finesse rod and you've got a slightly heavier rod on the back, it's all there for you. Take that off and you're fishing for, for your bigger species uh, within, within seconds really. So another nice little option to keep everything that you need within this sphere of the rucksack. The other thing about everything in the uh, Street Fighter range is because you're on the street, if you're fishing into dark, sometimes that can be an issue if you're near roads or people are coming along with bikes. It can, can be busy, the urban landscape. So we've got reflective material on a lot of uh, areas of this luggage and on the back. So if someone's coming past you, say on a bike down the towpath and they've got their lights on, they're going to catch a glimpse of that and know you're there, not knock you into the canal. So just these little touches that, you know, you might not use, but they might come in handy. So we've, we've thought a lot about this luggage um, and the Street Fighter rucksack, is like I say, probably the jewel in the crown of this range. It's a good, solid piece of kit that will store pretty much everything you're going to need for street fishing. If you carry more than this, you might not want to do street fishing because it's going to kill you back. Having just mentioned them with the rucksack, it's worth going over the modular packs. Now these are probably my favorite piece of, uh, piece of luggage that we've got in the range, just because they're so simple, but also so clever. So they're not very big, as you can see. They've got a big zip around the front and they hold a small Fox Rage tackle box. Now to start off with, the reason we've got these is so that they can expand a lot of the, the other items of luggage in the range. So like I've just showed you with a the rucksack, these will fit on thanks to the, the Velcro in attachment system to, to many of the items of luggage within the range, which, which makes them really versatile and, and really quite handy. As well as that, you can use them by yourself. So for example, if you want to go absolutely minimal, you can take a couple of these or even one if you're feeling brave, a couple of lures, a couple of jig heads, um, not a lot else really. That's all you need for, for, for lure fishing. You know, if you're going for half an hour or whatever, and you can take that and you can pop it on to your belt. If you're wearing a normal belt, keep trousers up. That just fits on there really nicely. Quick access to everything. With that little shelf, that will just sit there. Pop that open. Choose whatever you want out of there. Pop it closed. Back in. Nice and easy. Zip it up and you're away. You can't get more simple than that. If you haven't got a belt, this will actually go in your pocket, especially good on jeans, and just sit there. It'll take a lot to have that fall off. So, the modular pack. Sold separately, and you can use them separately, but if you're buying one of these other items of luggage which takes these, I would say get a couple, because it, it makes things ever so easy. One of the items of luggage in the Street Fighter range that is designed specifically to work with a modular pack is a utility belt. Now, like I was saying that the modular pouches work with your belt on your trousers, this is exactly what this is, but a souped up version. So what you would do is just pop that round your waist. I think I lost a bit of weight there, maybe. Um, and you're, you're good to go. This takes four of these modular pouches. It comes with two when you buy it from the shop, but you can add two more around the back. It also comes with lots of D-rings. It comes with a net holder. So one of our Street Fighter nets, you can put the holder through there and that will hold it on your hip at the back here. And it's fully fully adjustable so it'll go over if you've got your big clothing on say you've got your winter suit on or whatever it will still go over that you just have to adjust it pull it tight and it will stay where it needs to be it's a very like i say just very very simple but very clever at the same time and it gives you everything you need if you've got four of these on gives you everything you need for a bit of street street fishing not huge amounts of storage but with street fishing you don't always need that you don't always need a massive rucksack that weighs you down this keeps you nice and uh, agile, cover lots of water, and if you're going after a specific species, you'll have everything you need in just these two packs.
still on the belt theme, but with a little bit more capacity, is the holster pack. Now this, as you can see, comes with one large compartment. It's a belt type system, so as with the utility belt, lovely padded, lovely padded belt which supports all on your hips, puts, spreads the weight around so you don't feel it on any one area as such when you're walking around. So again, talking about uh, the speed of access of your, your tackle to make things quicker when you're out and about. This holster pack has a magnetic attachment. So that that's fits in place because there's magnets in the top and in the bottom. So there's no buckles, there's no Velcro, there's no zips to get in your way, literally that's it. You're straight in, pull out your tackle box, which it comes with this as standard. Dead, dead, simple, dead quick, and you, you got what you want straight away. Now you might think that's a bit um, precarious. If this is only magnetized, if you lean over with a load of lead in there or whatever, it might pop out. You'd have to be doing a handstand for, and, and jiggling about for that to fall out. That's really nice and firm in there. But at the same time, dead easy to get out as well. So that offers you a nice big pack on one side or the other. As you can see, we've got all the D-rings on there for everything. We've got fluorocarbon scissors plier uh, mounting um, holder there at, the, at the, the front end. You've also got D-clips around the belt itself so you can hang things off like the microfiber towel or a, a, an unhooking mat. Also on these, as in with most of our luggage, especially the stuff that fits around your waist, you've got a net holding strap. So with our Street Fighter nets, they come with a clip as well as that, like with a lot of these uh, luggage items, as I've said, this expands. So on the back side of the belt, we've put another bit of the, the webbing so that you can use it with a modular pack. So again, if you want to take something specific, if you've got all your jig heads in there or whatever you stored, that fits on there and it's expanded. You've got more room on there now. So, you know, all these things just combine to make it nice and simple and easy for you to fish on the streets. Save you time, that's the, that's the key thing, it saves you time so you can fish more effectively, get more bites and hopefully catch more fish. So now we have a firm favourite that you've seen in the Fox Ranger luggage before under the Voyager brand and that's the Vest Pack. Now this thing, does what it says really when you say vest pack just goes over your head clips up and what you effectively have is everything right in front of you or behind you but it's all kind of centralized around your body so you spread the weight it's on your shoulders so realistically you can put load these up and you won't necessarily feel the weight even because it's so well spread across your body you've still got a lot of storage at the, the front end the way you expect it to to be really because this is your meat and veg this is where everything that you'll need will be sat so you don't want to be taking this off you want to be fishing if you need to get a lure it's straight in front of you or you need your fluorocarbon it's straight in front of you you've got d-rings at the front as well so you can hold your pliers on there, for example, or an unhooking mat or whatever. So, you know, the main event is at the front of what, for storage wise. It stores quite a lot. You'll get a couple of our boxes in there and it comes with boxes as standard. But again, if you want to expand that, this does fit a modular pouch. So if I take this off and show you at the back, before you used to have netting across the back. Now this was good uh, for putting stuff like bits of clothing in there or uh, maybe an unhooking mat but we don't need that for street fishing and in fact it gets in the way so what we've done is put one of our webbing bands across the back and again the modular pack just fits on there and you've got an expansion of, of the storage capacity so you've got another box which you can easily access if you take this off a lot of people just unclip the side clips and spin it round so you've got access straight away as well as the modular pouch on the back end if you want to expand it you've also got a large storage area so you could put um, waterproof one of our rs10k tops in there for example the jackets so waterproof stuff or um, i don't know your lunch maybe in there because it does expand quite large 
it's got uh, pleats in the side, so that will expand quite to quite a capacity to, to put what you would want in there, not necessarily on the front straight away, quick access to, but, but stuff that you are going to need throughout the day. Again, we've got more D-rings on the back for holding stuff and these little side pockets for, for holding other bits and bobs, including our water bottles will go in there. So everything you need really in a very compact, very mass centralized system that, that allows you to move around comfortably, quickly, without feeling the weight on one side or the other or on your back, it's just spread all over, especially on the shoulders, which is great. Another firm favorite, repurposed and put into the Street Fighter range of luggage, is the messenger bag. Now, this is as simple as it gets really. It's a bag, like a satchel, that goes over your shoulder. So it's really quick access. It's, it's really simple to get on and off. And uh, it swings out the way, and it comes right round for access. It's not much different to what it was before. You've got quick access to your box and all your, all your bits and bobs in the main luggage area. You've got pockets at the front, which will take other items. Tool holder at the front, another handy little little pocket there. Zip out pocket for all um, lighter stuff because you don't want too much heavy stuff in the lid, really, in the, the top flap. And then this has been added to, to take one of our water bottles. We haven't gone we haven't gone too far with it because it was pretty good as it was. Uh, if you want a simple option, it doesn't have an expansion pack capability. We didn't think all of them needed it, so. The messenger bag is as simple as it gets really uh, and it's a great starting point for street fishing it gives you lots of flexibility uh, with lots of capacity at the same time keeping on the theme of keeping it light keeping your um, amount of effort and flexibility and agility at the forefront the other addition we've got in the street fighter luggage range is not really an item of luggage but it's very very important for the street fishermen and that is a super light unhooking mat as you can see compared to our other unhooking mats in the voyager range this is dinky um, this thing will fit on every single item of luggage there on all the d-rings that they they have but just look at the size it barely weighs anything as well that is when it's dry but it's waterproof so it won't take up too much uh, water after you've used it on a big fish so just to show you, that's the size when it's folded up. Use the Velcro, or undo the Velcro to let it loose. And there we have a one metre long unhooking mat, which folds out, gives you plenty of coverage of the ground to protect the fish. But also gives you a, a good measuring base. We haven't gone for a headboard on this because we wanted to keep it nice and light. Our, our older ones would have a board you could butt the fish up against, but you can, based on the size of the markings here, you can see where the fish is going to be, you know, and you, you only lie to yourself, don't you, when you move it around. So uh, you can measure, uh, measure it from, from that point and then you've got up to a metre. If you, you catch more than a metre fish while you're street fishing, you know, those are a red letter days and it does happen, but it's not going to happen as often as you catch down this end of the, of the markings. So again, keeping it nice and compact, keeping it light, we've kept it to a one metre measuring length. To fold it up, all you do is bring these sides in and it just rolls up. Dead easy, exactly how you'd think. Takes seconds to do. And then with the Velcro, just pull that into place, clamp it back on your, your luggage, and you're away again. The Street Fighter mat, you know, what else do you need really when you're street fishing? Keeping it light, keeping it good for the fish, keeping it stylish. <laughs>